Mi corazón está roto. Por favor, regresenme a mi niño. Ayúdenme, por favor. Por favor, todos, ayúdenme. Necesito a mi niño. She's asking everybody to please help her find her baby. It's been a while, and she wants her baby to return. Just the most devastating thing any parent can face. Araceli Nunez says she only looked away for a minute, and in that minute, her life changed forever. Good evening, Brazos Valley. Thank you for watching KAGS News at 6. I'm Elizabeth Tharp. We're now in hour 28 in the search for missing Grimes County toddler Christopher Ramirez. His mother, Araceli Nunez, you heard just a moment ago, heartbroken. The desperation pleading for help in finding her son. More than two dozen law enforcement agencies are just outside Flanchersville to try to do just that. Bring Christopher back to his mother. Our newscast tonight dedicated to keeping you updated on the latest developments. We have team coverage tonight. KX reporters William Johnson, Epiphany Lachey, and our digital content leaders Sierra Villarreal and Jacob Reyes. We'll start tonight with William. William was there when Christopher's mother made her cry for help and brings us the latest. And Elizabeth, the search for three year old Christopher Ramirez has been going on for over 24 hours. We got the chance to speak with the sheriff of Grimes County, but more importantly, Christopher's mother about their takes on the situation. Araceli Nunez, or Christopher's mother, shed light on the matter around two this afternoon at the 24 hour mark, speaking that yesterday this all started when Christopher was chasing after a dog around 1.30 to 2 yesterday afternoon, and then she took her eyes off of him for just two minutes. Take a minute to think about that, two minutes, and then noticed he was gone. She then began chasing after him in a search, yelling for his name, only to really hear no response from Christopher. She now believes that Christopher was abducted, and she's asking anyone who has any information to please call the Grimes County Sheriff's Office. Yo creo, yo siento que alguien lo tiene, alguien lo escondió, se lo llevó. She thinks somebody has her son? And is hiding them from her. Por favor, ayúdenme a encontrarlo, por favor. Begging for help for somebody Muy to please pequeño. help her find her son. Necesita su mamá, por favor, ayúdenme. She needs his mom. She doesn't think he's lost in the woods, but I Usted no piensa que está perdido. No. She doesn't think he's lost. Never, nunca va a la calle, nunca, sin nosotros, nunca. He's never on outside of their property. Nosotros no tenemos enemigos. No tenemos problemas con nadie, no sé, no sé qué pasó. She doesn't know what happened. Does he ever play in the woods? Nunca sale de nuestra yarda, nunca, nunca. Por favor, ayúdenme, por favor. Now, if you have any information about this case, you're encouraged to call the Grimes County Sheriff's Office at 936-873-2151. And this is really a hard situation for any mother to lose her son. And she and other law enforcement agencies and other groups are searching for Christopher. And as we learn more information, we'll be sure to update you on our website, kagstv.com. I'm reporting in Grimes County, William Johnson, KAGS News. Thank you, William. Again, that was the mother of three-year-old Christopher Ramirez that you heard from moments ago. And again, we're in hour 28 of the search for Christopher. We'll retrace the facts of this missing toddler case. Now, authorities were called to the 10,000 block of Deer Park Lane near Plantersville in Grimes County just before 2 p.m. yesterday. Authorities were told Christopher was last seen chasing a neighbor's dog near a wooded area of the Firefox subdivision. The dog, though, returned late last night. Dive and rescue teams are on the search are on the scene to search any bodies of water within the search grid. Ramirez was last seen wearing a lime green shirt and red Mickey Mouse shoes. It is not known what color his shorts were, but it is known that Ramirez likes to play in and around vehicles. According to his family and officials say they will search all vehicles, sheds, pools and other hiding spots nearby. Christopher only speaks Spanish, but his mother says that he will respond to his name, Christopher. At this time, Grimes County Sheriff Don Sowell says they do not suspect foul play and believe Ramirez to be close by. Search parties, canine units, first responders, and a Texas DPS helicopter have been searching for Ramirez since he went missing. 
We will continue to update you throughout the day on our website, kxtv.com, and with your phone through our app. You can also keep track of our videos from the scene on our YouTube playlist, which will be updated throughout the day. William just told us a moment ago that Araceli believes someone has taken her son and is hiding him from her. While Grimes County Sheriff Don Sowell says there's no evidence of that, but authorities aren't ruling anything out. Let's turn now to KAG's reporter and anchor Epiphany Lachey. She's got more information on what law enforcement is doing at the scene. Epiphany. Yeah, well, Elizabeth, we are in day two of the investigation of Christopher Ramirez. I have the FBI agency here with me, Miss Christina Garza, and she's going to answer a few questions. What has the FBI done to aid in this investigation? The FBI has really brought in every single resource that we can possibly can to assist in finding Christopher. We've got investigative resources. We have personnel here. We will be here until after dark tomorrow, if necessary, until we find Christopher. Think about our evidence response teams literally going into the woods, searching high, low, under logs, rocks, trees, water, everything, looking for Christopher. Can you explain to us why an Amber Alert has not been issued yet? Well, so there's specific criteria that a law enforcement agency must meet in order for an Amber Alert to be issued. I don't know the reasons in this case. That would be a question for the Grimes County Sheriff's Office. Um, but I know that there are specific criteria that must be met before an Amber Alert is issued. It's been over 24 hours. Why are you guys still searching in this area? Because Christopher hasn't been found. And until we find Christopher, we will be here day, night with all of our partners. There's over 150 members from law enforcement and volunteers looking for Christopher. We'll be here well into the night if needed. Will you increase your water search? Well, and so that is part of it. If there's evidence that leads us to believe we should, then absolutely. How much is of this area have you actually checked? Well, there's an entire one to five mile radius that we're looking at and we'll continue to look at. Again, until evidence points us elsewhere, we will remain in this area looking for Christopher. So people have been making comments about the TD CJ dogs losing their scent. Is there anything that you can say toward that? I cannot. That would be a question for a separate group. Okay. And my last question, is there any updated information that you can share with us at this time? I just want the public to know that a lot of times it's information from the public that assists law enforcement. So anyone with information about Christopher, whether it's big, small, please report it to the Grime. County Sheriff's Office. We don't do this without the assistance of the public. You guys also, the media, play a critical role. So let's hope that Christopher is found safe and soon. Okay, thank you, Miss Christina. And as she said, if you have any information, you are asked to call the Grimes County Sheriff's Office at 936 873 2151. And just to reiterate, he was last seen going into a wooded area chasing the neighbor's dog. He had on a lime green t-shirt and red Mickey Mouse shoes. Reporting in Grimes County, I'm Epiphany Lachey, KAGS News. Sending it back to you in the studios, Elizabeth. Epiphany, William, everyone at the scene right now, thank you so much. So to come on KAGS News at 6, we'll go back to Grimes County to make sure you've got the latest. But Bob has your full forecast coming up first. And Justin and Mike still have your sports news. We'll take a minute here and be right back.